What's up guys, this is Gilfix here, back with the next episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. In the last episode, we were clearing out this room of all the stone and shovel. Um, yeah, we were cleaning it out of shovels. Um, no, dirt. But, but since the last episode, er, a little lag. Since the last episode, I have cleared it out myself. And in this episode, we're going to patch up the walls and maybe get started on the flooring. So I've got everything I need for the, uh, wall at least. And I'm just ooh, gonna get to it. Hmm. So as usual on Fridays we had a football game. Um, and I was shocked. We actually won one. Which was cool. Really unexpected, considering we lose a lot of games, but I'm not complaining. Well, that was a little backwards, maybe, but whatever. <laughs> um, Halftime show was good. I ended up getting to play my solo. There, well, I don't know if I've talked about this in a past episode, but one of the songs that we play, oh, and by the way, I'm still sick. You could probably hear it in my voice, but I'm not nearly as sniffly. But... I will be a little bit, so yeah. But, um, there's one song where it's me and two other people have a, so, like, a solo, it switches between the three of us. Like, it goes person one, person two, person one and me, to all three of us, person one, person two, person three, which is me, I'm person three. So I got to play that for the first time at a football game. I've played it at band shows, but never at a football game. And especially not a home one. We've had three home football games in a row, which I find kind of insane. Um, don't know how they decided the order, but like between home and away, but they don't. Really? Hmm. Hmm. I think I've talked to one of the past episodes about uh, my taking chemistry and how some people were saying that the teacher wasn't that good and stuff. So far, I'm okay with her. Like, she's at least better than my anatomy teacher from last year, which I absolutely hated. Um, but the reason I bring up chemistry is because we got to blow something up. <laughs> um, I don't even remember how, what she did to make it explode, but pretty much she put water and something in a bottle. Like, I want to say like. I don't even remember what it was, but it was cool because she put water in that, whatever it was, in a plastic like Gatorade bottle, put a hole in it, and put a um, mole on top, like a little like plush mole, which apparently is a measurement in a, of something, which is why she has a ton of mole-based posters in her room, but anyways, um, so it took her about three, four, maybe five times to do it, but finally, she puts, what she did was put a match to a hole that she put in the, uh, bottle, and when it finally worked, oh, come on, it, the mole just exploded right out of the bottle, everyone in the classroom jumping, it was funny. something else I can bring up too which isn't uh, <laughs> related to chemistry well I say I'm not very sniffly today but of course I sniffle so yeah uh, but I do feel better than before so hmm. All right, uh. and I think it was the last episode I was talking about no I think it was the episode before I was talking about how I was reading the uh, 
Hunger Games series. And I finished the first book, uh, actually yesterday. And I started reading Catching Fire. Well, doing what I usually do, I normally go to the last page of the book and read the last paragraph. Just because, I guess. I don't know exactly why, but... Well, I read it, and my mind was blown. I don't know how it happened. Um, once again, here... Okay, I'm going to say what it is, but I'm going to give a warning right now. This this is major spoilers, and I probably shouldn't have read it, considering I still ha I'm still planning on reading the entire book. But the last paragraph was um, Gail saying... Um, there is no more District 12, and I'm just like, my mind has been blown. <laughs> like, I can kind of see how that could happen, especially reading up to, like, Chapter 3 or 4. But it's just like, wow. So, in other words, maybe we'll find an... Uh, but, I'm going to say by the end, like, beginning of not this coming week, but the week after, I'll probably have that book finished, and I'll be reading Catching Fire. Wait, oh, not Catching Fire, um, Mockingjay, which I cannot wait for. I, I'm looking forward to finishing this series. Only problem is, uh, we have, we still have to read stuff in, uh, English. Right now, we're be reading, um, Beowulf. Luckily, it's the, uh, translated one, because I don't think I could keep my sanity through the, uh, Old English version. Which I might actually have to read when I go to college, but uh, for now, I'm happy reading the 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 normal English one, I guess. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, Hunger Games series, a really good book series. Um, I think it's just kind of been given a bad name because of the idea of like children killing children, which I kind of understand, but it's. Like I said in one of the last episodes, it, it's meant for an older generation, like teens, who aren't going to think, hey, so I read this in a book, so it's okay to kill other kids. No, it's not. I would like to think people are not that stupid. And I think most people are sane enough to understand that's not the case, that you shouldn't go around killing people. Actually, I think I'm just repeating myself from a couple episodes ago. Or, not, not, or, not, no. But, uh. Yeah, it's kind of been giving a bad, given a bad name because of that idea. Which, I do kind of understand, but. And I've already made my claim as to how I feel about. That. Oh, I didn't get my shovel, dang it. Well, oh, okay then. Geronimo! And of course, I've got to pill her out again. This would have been a lot easier with Ender Pearl, but we still haven't found the end portal yet. But we are a little bit closer because I do have those blaze, blaze rods. I can turn into blaze powder. I have two or three Ender Pearls I have been saving up. Er, maybe I'll save that for an upcoming episode. Well, uh. Of course, it's gonna be an upcoming episode, but a uh, earlier episode, like coming an episode that's coming soon. Let's say that. <laughs> Dang, I wanted to get I wanted to bring get some tissue before I started recording. But I forgot. Oh well. What can you do? This shovel's insane. I've said that many of times before, but it is. <laughs> well, the only problem that that I had with the football game um, yesterday, which I'm getting back on 
that topic, I guess, since I don't really have anything else more to say about the Hunger Games right now. <laughs> My only problem was that it was it was really rainy, so I probably could have gotten sicker, but I didn't. And besides, I had a lot of people just depending on me being there, because because of my solo I'm not sure if the uh, people who would replace me have it ready uh, uh, at least it's moved down <coughs> <coughs> so I can't really leave them just to kinda uh, sink or swim I guess Oh, we're about 11 minutes in already, jeez. This pro episode probably is going to be a little bit shorter. I do apologize, guys, but I just... Right now, I think most of you understand that I don't feel 100%, so you're... I would like... I hope you guys understand that I don't feel 100% right now, and that I just want to kind of relax a little bit. But I'm still going to do keep to my schedule, which brings up another thing I want to say. Would you guys mind if I just went down to uh, Tuesday and Thursday uploads? Just because I do enjoy doing Saturday uploads too. It's just I can spend after like a week of school. I kind of want to spend my Saturdays just resting up a little bit. And, and I mean, it's up to you guys. I will continue doing Saturday up Saturday uploads. And once I, my friend gets the our ser his server, I should say, working up and working. Hint, hint. Then we'll be adding. I'll be adding another series. So and log out, log in, which will be a multiplayer series. Which I know at least one person's been waiting for from me. Being someone who's posted on like my second episode, actually. I wonder how I went from a stack down to that much, and I guess the rest of it was just fill, used to fill in corners. I know in the like little example one I showed you guys, the example castle I showed you guys that I wanted to make a uh, make the uh, small circular towers. I think I'm just gonna scrap that idea for now. exactly what else I can do with it to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's sit down one torch. Hopefully that's out of the range of the ice. That's one of the things I was worried about the entire time while I was doing this. That it was out and that the uh, torches were out of the range of the ice. Um, Alright, since we're getting down to, like, towards the end of it, even though I'm going to finish all these walls off, I'd like to say one thing. Um, I understand my videos aren't the best videos, and I accept that perfectly fine. Some people still enjoy them, so I'm, I'm still happy to do them. But on my last Minecraft episode, somebody just posted simply, this sucks. And, okay, you're entitled to your opinion. And I understand that it's not the best quality. It's n I'm no Etho, no good, B00, or anything like that. But tell me what I can do to improve. I accept criticism. Constructive criticism, though. And just saying this sucks is not helping me. 
make my videos any better. And I don't, I'm not met. I am a little bit upset because I put a lot, good bit of work into these videos. I've been getting a little bit lazy with the editing lately, and I'll, I'll admit to it fully. And part of that's just because um, I don't, between because of school, I don't have er, a lot of time to spend uploading. Just because videos could take like two hours. Yeah, and that's just slowing my computer down while I'm trying to do whatever else I'm doing. And okay, I'm I'm still happy to do. It's, if I didn't want to do YouTube, I would would have just quit my channel by now. But I mean, all I'm trying to say is, if you're if you don't like what I do, tell me why. Maybe I can make improvements. So. <coughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that, guys. I. I appreciate those of you who either. I appreciate the any viewers really. I should, yeah. I appreciate any viewers, but there's a difference between just saying you suck, that this these videos are awful, and saying hey, why don't you try to find a better screen recording program? Which I'll, I I will fully say this screen recorder pr program is not the best. But it gets the job done, and and it's not like I'm using like a really crappy camera to do it, and I'm not pointing fingers. And those of you may be thinking that I'm I might be talking about my friend Toonlink Fan ninety five, but I've got to say he has really good quality for camera quality, and I'm not going to explain what he told me, but he. His video quality will be improving very soon, and hopefully mine will too. It's just right now I don't have a lot of money to put into a new screen recording program because I still have my other hobbies to work with, and they are related to my YouTube channel too, like Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, uh, Magic, and Pokemon. Not so much, not nearly as much as I used to, but still to a certain degree. But right now, guys, I do understand my videos are not the best, and I understand my um, commentary isn't the best either. And I try my best with that too. I I kind of fight it hard because thinking about like, well, I don't know if it, there will be if I'm really talking to like ten people or maybe two hundred, which. <laughs> That's at least the size of my class. The class of 2013 at my school. So, and I I can't really. So I'm I'm one of those people who get nervous when doing like public speaking, and I like really what I do is overthink what I'm gonna say, and then I stumble over my words because I overthought it. Which might seem a little bit weird, but yeah, I'm only me. But but I've just got to throw it out there, please, guys. If you're gonna say, if you don't like something, give constructive criticism. And I'm not just saying that for my videos. Any videos that you watch, instead of saying that <coughs> this is awful. You should quit. Blah 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 blah. Say hey, um, you could probably improve this by doing this and lighting up the screen a little bit. Because um, <laughs> I know I probably I'm probably gonna get some comments about that. Grr. Um, So yeah, guys, just, if you don't like something, tell them how they can improve, tell people how they can improve it, just, don't just say, that was horrible, 
And for all I know, he might have just been trolling. Because that's about 90% of the internet. Well, okay, let's say 85.5% of the <coughs> internet. But, I don't know. Um... Alright. Oh, there... How does Zombie get on there? Do you just jump on or what? Whoa. Hmm. They shouldn't be able to spawn on half size. Jeez. Alright, um... Let's throw this stuff in here. Get some of this. These, these, these. What? Did you guys just see that? Something's a bit wrong here. Okay. Hmm. Well, that was strange. Yeah, that'll be plenty for those. Clean that. The rest of my nether brick. Hmm. And I don't even have enough to make some more fences, so yay. Hmm. I only have eight levels. I want. I. Mm, I'm not even gonna press my luck. I want to get myself touch pick too, so I could break away, break a way in without, without wasting more smooth stone. There we go. Um, and this will be adjusted based on where my door is going to be. Um, hmm. Let me go down one more layer. Just real quick. One thing that everyone everyone says this, but I think that they really do need to add a nether brick half slabs to the game. I mean, they're finally adding, um, they finally added, a uh, sandstone slabs, I mean, not slabs, uh, stairs. Why not add nether brick slabs? I mean, you probably couldn't find them naturally in, like, dun in, um, um, fortresses, but still, I mean, they'd be amazing for decoration. And you could do like a checkerboard with uh, nether brick slabs and uh, sandstone slabs that can't be, uh, I think, that, oh, that mobs can't spawn on, that's what I'm trying to say. That's a little bit too difficult. I think they actually nerfed the, uh, what do we call it, the, uh, pickaxe, um, efficiency for, because I used to be able to just stand back here, click, and just go through it, it would keep up with me, and now it won't, so I'm a little, di I'm a little disappointed, but it's kind of 
understandable that was a bit overpowered, I've got to say. But I miss it. I miss it a lot. Yeah, for now. Something else I could talk about, Minecraft related. The next update. They're gonna add pumpkin pie. That sounds good. I mean, it apparently heals as much hunger as a steak. It probably doesn't have nearly as much as good saturation. As much saturation, I should probably say. I think that makes more sense. <coughs> but, um... Pretty easy to make. It's probably stackable, so it might be a little bit better than mushroom stew. Because I know mushroom stew heals about as much as uh, beef. That's gonna bug me if I don't get it down. Start right here, in case it is affecting the ice. I think between episodes, that layer of ice up there uh, is going to be uh, covered in more half slabs because the light won't travel through the half slab to the ice that, and cause it to change. In between episodes, I'm going to also collect some more nether brick. Yeah, because we're not going to have enough. Then. This room down here is going to be our storage room, so eventually I'm going to cut out places in the uh, sandstone slabs for. Make some more slabs. Oh, we should have enough to fill the floor. getting a little bit laggy. Yeah. Honestly, I'd rather, rather miss some than hit extra.
also being able to customize a, uh, <coughs> a super flat world. That's a pretty cool feature. I like that. Wonder if they're gonna try to just go ahead and if they're just gonna go ahead and just 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 disable um TNT as an option for those. I don't don't know if they've done that in this pre-release, but I think someone I I saw a video where I think they did it that way, but they could have just MC edited it in, I guess. So <laughs> lag. But anyways, guys, I will just come and finish this off up, finish this up off screen. But really quickly before I end off this episode, I said uh, in in this episode that um, I was going to do a um, server a multiplayer let's play eventually. Well, uh, you know, I was gonna consider showing you guys what my house will look like because I did kind of plan it out in a creative world but I'm thinking I'm gonna save that but I'm gonna give you guys a hint as to what it is let's just say it has to do with my skin the wolf skin but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed and this is Gelvex signing out peace